Welcome to Vacuum Wars, and to our review of the Roomba Combo J7 Plus Robot Vacuum. It's iRobot's first combo robot vacuum slash mop with a pretty innovative solution to a very common problem. We bought one and put it through all kinds of tests this week, and in this video I'll go over all the pros and cons. So links in the description, and let's get started. Starting off with the pros, the Roomba Combo J7 Plus is one of the very best pure robot vacuums out there. In the various pickup tests we did on hard floors and carpet, it was exceptional. It easily picked up fine debris with no issues, including heavier debris on hard floors, which isn't easy but its vacuuming ability on carpet is really where it rises above its competition, which is in part due to its patented dual brush roll design, which you won't find on any other robot vacuum brand, and which gives iRobot a distinct advantage in my opinion. Another big pro is the auto empty bin called a clean base. Basically, when the robot finishes its job, it returns to the base to recharge, and when it does, it empties the contents of its dustbin into the included bag, which iRobot says can hold up to 60 days worth of debris. iRobot was one of the first to popularize the clean base idea, and I still think they have one of the best designs. Another pro was its obstacle avoidance system. This is something that only recently started showing up on robot vacuums, and in this case, it's accomplished by a a single camera and light mounted in the front of the robot, which in addition to helping it with navigation, looks for obstacles in order to avoid them. iRobot has seemingly put a lot of effort into training its obstacle avoidance library, and they claim to be adding to it continually with software updates. In our tests, I found it to be a little better than the previous J7 in many ways, which is to be expected, as I'm sure its library has been updated since I last tested it. But like the original J7, and really just about every robot vacuum with this feature so far, it's not quite perfect, and it's still likely to get stuck or run into some oddball items you might have laying around, but it is still much better than average. Let's move on to its mopping, as that is sort of the star of the show here. Ever since robot vacuum companies started adding mop pads to their robot vacuums, they've all had the same basic problem, which is that they're not able to go on carpets while their mop pad is attached because it would get dirty water on the carpets. The Roomba Combo J7 vacuums and mops hard floors at the same time like many of the others do, but when it senses carpets with its carpet sensors, it raises the mopping pad with its metal arm and rests it on top of the robot, and then vacuums carpet like normal. In our test, it did really well with this. That is, it was clearly designed to prevent carpets from getting wet, and no matter how much we tried to trick it, it worked well. One interesting feature of its mopping is that it has a more expensive electric pump than normal, which allows you to use mopping solution instead of just water. They also say that the metal arm that raises and lowers the mop pad allows the robot to put additional pressure on the mopping pad, which iRobot says has shown good results against other pads that spin or vibrate. In our test, it seemed to be much better than average with things like the dried coffee stain test where it was truly impressive even after just one pass. It was also really good with the dried on grape juice stains. I did try a few large V8 stains that had been there for weeks and though it probably could have cleared it with a few extra passes, it did struggle a bit with that particular torture test. It has some useful navigation features like keep out zones where you draw little boxes on the map in the app to keep it from going places you don't want it to go. It has a ton of variation on room and area options. So for example, you could schedule it to clean a certain room on a certain day with certain mop settings, or even tell it to clean certain areas within a room. Moving on to the negative stuff. The first thing is that the new mopping hardware makes it less efficient in terms of navigation. The way that it works is that the J7 combo will first vacuum the rugs in a room and then move on to the floors, which makes sense, but it means that it's essentially creating multiple maps for multiple pieces of carpet in each room. And if that room has complex variations of rugs and furniture on those rugs, it's going to be a really complex map, which means that it's probably going to take a lot longer to finish the job because of this. For example, it took the J7 about an hour and 20 minutes on average to vacuum and mop my 400 square foot floor plan, and its main competitor did the same job in about 50 minutes. iRobot did seem to add a much larger battery to accommodate for this longer navigation, although as of this video, they have not published any official information about the battery 
battery size or battery life as far as I know. Another con is that a little bit of moisture seems to make its way into the brush roll housing when using it as a mop, which causes some otherwise dry debris to be kind of stuck to the brush roll housing. It's not a big deal, but it does make it tougher to clean when doing regular maintenance, and I would think that it would make it more important to do regular maintenance as well. All in all though, the J7 Plus combo is one of the best pure vacuuming robots on the market, especially if you have a lot of carpets. Its auto empty bin and new mopping mechanism worked perfectly in our tests and are a huge value add above its competitors, even if it will take a little bit more time to complete its job and a little more effort to prep and maintain the robot. To me, it's still a quality buy from one of the best robot vacuum companies in the world today. Links in the description and be sure to subscribe to Vacuum Wars before you leave. Thanks for watching.